and we're going to start off again with a oh um i didn't on these you can't but if i was in the garden i would have two at the end uh -huh. because it is easier to have two to make it stronger and if you have a weak one sometimes you're on the garden give it a helper because you know these things happen probably if i'm on this field that's what it'd be easier if i was on this side too so i'm going to start away this is my garden and you'll find this is much easier because I don't have those in tile at the top. So it's a lot easier for me to Yeah, this is just cracking up here. Favorite. I know, they do. Just have to it. There we are. Now I'm going to join on. Come along. So it's the pairing that's the trick. And once, you know, I was always amazed because garden fences were quite popular for a while. And none of the magazines knew about pairing. I always thought it was very interesting. And they, everybody was trying to weave it, just over and under. And you'll find it very hard to weave it over and under. It's just surprising how easy it is to do it with pairing. You know, because, it, because they hold them and they squash them up. So but by so pairing you mean using two at once? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and again, if you're a weaver, you can do this with wool and you call it twining just to be difficult. So pairing and twining are exactly the same. Well, what I want to show you is what we get to a very exciting bit at the end here. And now the, another thing to notice about the way Anchor it does it is she uses it and just goes around one piece and then pushes it down. She doesn't like go across all of them and try to push the whole thing down afterwards because sometimes you have to bend them just slightly to get around. And if you stick them all in, you know, and you try and stick it that way and push it down, you don't have the bends and it'll end up making your fence go crooked. And also, if, you, if you're being fussy, you get two about the same length, but you don't have to be fussy. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to the skinny end, so I'm joining two skinnies, which is sort of easy because we're getting to the end. And you can poke one in underneath that one. Yeah, oh, you're on top, anchor it. Under. There we go. Okay. So he's going and I'm going to catch a cat. <laughs> don't let me, don't let me catch you. But no, you see. <laughs> Sorry, person. It's my fun, not yours. Put those two behind. There we are. Now we'll put the other one in. There we go. It goes in. Now this one's coming. And this is the exciting one. It gets round to the end. But it, uh, Carson, oi, go away. He's having a grand time. This one, instead of stopping, it's going to go round, mm -hmm. and it's going to come back, and it's going to go behind this one. I'll do that again in a minute, just to show you. That would go there. I'll do this all again, because people get very confused about this. That one's going to stick in there. This one is going to come behind here. It's going to go in front. And it's going to come out here, and I'm going to do it again just to show you. If, if you don't do this, you get a baggy one here. And I'll show you all again. So you see, I'm all ready to go again. Now, this is a great big trick, so a lot of people don't do this. So we're coming back. We're, 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 we're back where we are before. This is the next one to go. And he's going to be the first one that gets around the corner. He's gone around the corner. We've got so many kids just here. So he's the first one to go around. He was. He will be. He is. So when he get the first one gets there, instead of stopping and picking up this one, he just continues all the way around. That's what you have to remember. You take him around the corner. And the reason you use the first one that goes is because then you make a nice X. You cross itself, you know? Now this one's coming. And it's his turn. And he yeah, can come correct. round there. And you see the X that you've just made? Yeah. And I can help you. But that, that, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah. But what you remember is the first one who gets to the corner goes yeah. round the corner yeah. and then continues. 
and then the second one goes around the corner and continues, which means that you can't end up with two, one in each slot. This one's on the way back now. And if you can remember that, it's not difficult, but people get terribly confused. So I'm happy to come and help anybody who wants to. And I mean, the only problem is if you don't do it, you get a loop, a great loop here. Whereas if you do it that way. But, so the first one who gets to the end goes round behind in front. And then the second one goes round and does his thing. And you end up with two there. And off you go. So this is the way you do it, of course. And it's much easier on fence, of course. Because, yeah. And then if you want to, you can do that. <laughs> or if you want to, you can add another stake and put some more in. If you do this, you have to be a little, you have to be a little bit of a bully to get this one going straight again. Yeah. But, you know, if you've got a gap, and in, in, you know, you don't need to have a solid fence most of the time. You just need solid, gap, solid. So yes. if you want to play, yes. you can do that. Or you can do all sorts of fun things. You can add a little bit, you can put another one in if you want. Just a little piece. But you can just get, get some little bits if you want to. And you could put a little bit in there. Well, of course it's not working now. Anyway, you put a, li a little skinny bit in there and a little skinny bit in there and they can do it. Oh, they can make an X? Yes. Mm. Well, where are my snips? I, I just, I need to cut them. I can't make it. There we go. Thank you. So I, I would... You'll find that there's lots of possibilities. It's fine. It's really fine. So he could go in like that. And this one could go in and they could just be added if you want to. Mm -hmm. So then you'll have a double one here and a double one there. Mm -hmm. You can put things in, you can take them out. Mm -hmm. Depends if you're doing a deck thing or if it's just holding up the piano. You know, it doesn't really matter for the players. But if you want to make it a fun thing, you can play with it. Now, we, we're going to get to the top, of course, and I can't really show you on this how to do on the top, but what we're going to do is we're going to, I call it a scallop border, and because if I start here and I keep scalloping across, I'm going to get to the end and I don't know what I'm going to do mm. at the end because I've got nowhere to go. Mm. So it's much easier if you start scalloping from both ends because you end in the middle. And when you scallop, you can go over two if you like and down like that. And then you can take that one over two and then the next one over two. And then I would bring over two, over two, over two. I'll have a few here. And then I have to decide what to do. So then I, I can help you. But if you start at one end and go all the way along the end, it looks terrible, because you get to the end and you've got nowhere to go. So start at both ends, and whatever you do usually looks nice, because you bring them in scoopy, and you bring the scoopy ones in, and the scoopy ones, scoopy one, and it's balanced, because you come from both ends. But of course, if you're going for a long fence, it really doesn't matter, because at the end, you know, you're not going to start at both ends if it's a hundred fence. So, how does all this sound? We're all ready to start. Um, this can be for somebody. We can put them in the ground, we can put them in the, in the border, we can put them in the garden. We can start wherever we like. I do have two more buckets, if anybody wants to use a bucket. Or you can use the ground. Now, if you use the ground, I usually find it easier. I don't think it's here. I did put a little screen with a peg. I usually find a string with a peg to make my circle look easy. I just put one out. 